Up next, it is the Russians, Kristina Ostakova and Alexei Roganov. Two skaters from Moscow, living and training there, and sitting in third after the short, less than five points from second place. This team that has been together almost four years now has a shot at moving up a step on the podium. They have been on a Grand Prix podium before, so they know what it's like and would like to climb at least one more step with their free program here in Osaka coming up. Change of pace, opening things with the side-by-side -side jumps. A little slow on the way out, but no problems with the technique throughout all three jumps. Side by side, triple south. She gets very pre-rotated. You see the head over the left shoulder, only able to complete a double. a little hesitation back with the free leg, but able to complete. Throw triple loop, a little late out with the free leg, but once again, able to stay on that right back outside edge. Think I want
little heavy on that dismount. You have to think fatigue playing a factor late here in the free program. Scored just about identical to the leader. Now exceeding it by a small margin. Nastakova and Roganov of Russia. Third place after the short program. They take in the moment and their scores coming up after this. Here's a look at that throw, triple lutz. Watch the free leg. Do you see how it hesitates as it goes back? It tucks and holds to the side. It's not a particularly stable position to be gliding backwards down the ice. You want to get to that full extension as quickly as possible. And that's what you see from the very best throws in the world. When you're looking at Sui and Han, when you're looking at Alexa Semeca Kaniram, the way they come out of the air, getting to that quick landing position with excellent extension and showing that position off for that extra second, really exaggerating the quality. They've skated very well at their last few events. You see her frustration missing that first toe, but still they're keeping the wheels on the bus right now, even when things are a little off, getting through the big elements and they're certainly making their case for that Russia three spot going to the games. My key, though, is to keep those wheels on the bus going round and round. <laughs> and also round. <laughs> and the Russians here into the lead. Season's best on both counts, free and total score. So with two pairs left to go, Astakova and Roganov, the new leaders in Osaka. As again, Bilodeau dropped to second, Samaka Kaniram and Kaniram of the U.S. now in third place.